Hello YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna be going back to Dawn of Man. I have not played this in a while. The last playthrough, I think I done it on too big of a map and didn't actually finish it. If you guys would like me to continue on with that one, I can load that up. That is still here. However, there has been some updates to this game recently, which I was quite surprised. Uh, a version 1.8 released in uh, let's have a look. Yeah, October, maybe November of last year. Some nice little upgrades, you know, just basic uh, graphics and rendering type things. So hopefully this will be quite a nicer looking play three but yeah if you guys do just want me to see me carry on with the previous one just let us know and i will go pop back to that one like i said it's right here not an issue uh as you can see i've got it even under the youtube name but i thought we'd do this and apparently i've not completed the tutorial but we're not going to bother with that today We'll just do the Continental Dawn. Obviously, I, there is the challenges, and I have a fair bit of um, <clears throat> uh, extra download stuff on that from the old Steam Workshop. I was thinking we just go into the free play, do the Continental Dawn playthrough. It's nice and easy. Uh, just something to see whether or not it's all working out. But let's have a look which one we want. Uh, I think mountainous because later on we're going to want stuff and well, I suppose we could just build that far up but a bit of an effort could go to the lake here but this is a little bit more centralised for hunting parties and such so we'll go with that one the merging streams normal and we could go nomad but we're just going to stay settled let's uh, see what we should call this uh, call it. Mm, you know, we'll call it Peaks, because we're near, we're near the old mountain there. So we're just starting straight up. On my last playthrough, I didn't do mic recordings, so it was all no no commentary. But we are just gonna. Obviously, you're getting that with this one. Let's have a quick look around see what we actually have to work with here like i said it's been a while so i'm not 100 percent certain what is available to us we do seem to have a rather small bit here oh, oh wow look hello well it's a vulture isn't it that's a bit ominous so we don't really have the greatest building area uh so there's that. I don't know what are you We are right here. So yeah, it doesn't look like we've got too much of a space to play with here. Might be able to do a few things here and there, but I doubt we'll be able to get anywhere near as big as what it was in my last playthrough. And here's our little tribe. We've got our two houses, which have three people each, and we have seven people, so classic. Uh, four raw skins some bits and bobs for food uh yeah let's have a look pear tree and all that other jazz and we've got four knives four spears to start us off with and we've got one wood pile so let's stick a few things down first before we all get started we will have a rock pile as well just so you know we can get some of that started could go straight for the storage We've only got raw skins at the moment, but it is dry skins for everything else. So maybe the first thing we should really concentrate on is getting ourselves some skin drying racks, just so we can actually, you know, get things started. Just make two for now, that should be fine. We've got a crafter, we've got a hearth, don't worry about that. And uh, we've got really nothing to put in a storage at the moment so we'll wait until that's done let's go for gathering workplaces find ourselves some sticks seems to be a few sticks here 
as well as a few sticks up here. It's not the greatest selection of sticks. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Let's increase the size of this. Yeah, that'll get us a fair few. We will go up to 20 on the sticks. This one probably ain't going to last too long. Oh, still 30, that's fine. And now we've got to think about food. So we do have seven, a couple of kids involved. So let's see how many hunters. We've got four hunters. Let's go into this screen. We've got ourselves a pig here. So let's come and get that guy first. So we've got ourselves a little bit of meat coming. And let's start it all off. So yeah, we'll get that built first. Get some sticks done. Hunt of some food. And then we'll see about getting a new hut built. Which is definitely needed. Just whack that next to that one. We can rearrange all that stuff later if we need to. Obviously not going to be able to do much until we get our drying racks sorted. But that should be fine. And we've got our first bit of knowledge. We are up to two. It is a minimum of five for the first bit. Hopefully that meat there, well, it's not going to last us too long. They will cook it on that. So, and do we have fishing rods? It does say we have one fishing tool, so best get that started. Let's do it there. So we encompass all three of those sections. So we don't have to slow down too far. And there is also the harvest wild plant selection now these are blueberries so yeah probably a good idea to collect these for extra food let me just whack that down there for when they are ready to be harvested let's speed things up to eight uh, it doesn't go any further than that nope we've got one done second one getting done and slow income of sticks got ourselves a bone we seem to have plenty for now. I do like to have food. I'll just get rid of that for now. No point in having it just yet. Still got plenty of other stuff to do. And obviously we're going to need a proper storage tent at some point soon. That'll be fine for now. That's already being built underway. That's buildings underway. That's all good. Once that's done, we probably need to go and find ourselves some more raw skins so we can start doing this one. Okay, so that's all done. Let's see. Oh, only two hunters. Do we have to make only two hunters as easy to do? I'd rather have all of them. Three would do then, I suppose. We'll go and find ourselves something with some leather. Hopefully something that won't kill us instantly. Here we go, got ourselves, what's this? A mouflon. That will do for now. So we send them off to hunt while we get all the sticks ready for this one. And then we'll think what else can we do? Skull pole. Do you know what, why not? Let's whack that up there. Just gonna put it just whack it out of the way for now. Just put it there. That way people can have a good look. Got one hunting knowledge for the mouflon. Very nice. And I think that will do it. For now. Wait for them to bring all that stuff back. Really want the old drying rack. Because that will make our food last a bit longer. We are up to Eight meat, five fish. So hopefully that will last us a bit of time. And we are still waiting for the storage tent to be finished. But we'll probably go out hunting again in a minute. But like I said, uh, just got to wait for these bits to be finished. So we actually have somewhere to store it. And then hopefully then we'll get the extra tech in order to get ourselves our new drying rack. Alright, and there it is. So we'll be going for this one first. 
people are probably like do the bone tools but no we're gonna do that one and we're gonna build that straight away since i remember where it is here it is so let's just have two there that should hopefully speed up all forms of drying we got our sticks slowly coming in oh we do not have any rocks yet selected plenty of rocks here we'll just use these no big deal on those they do come in useful a little bit later but the main thing we need is a flint if i just remembered that a second ago that would have been useful here we go flint any nearby we have a little bit here might as well collect that get that ready for when we get our tools going because we will be needing them so let's go to resources they are based on the adults so that's not too bad so we do want some the knives uh spears and uh yeah we'll have basically everything on on that one just so that we don't run out and obviously we still got the clothes there going as well all right lovely first one's built yes yes stick all the meat on there we are only down to four meat but we're we're doing okay for fish cave line attack oh god and where's that to let's turn around to see where that cave line is there it is come on guys thank you not really looking to have one of my fellas die at the moment but that has helped us get some extra food in and extra spurs in so we can get this sorted we are down to two raw skins so we really need to increase our hunting just if it's just for the raw skins so we can keep everything going we have space for two more people so we won't bother building a new home just yet uh, I'm sure I just saw an easy to kill animal a second ago it's wandered off that's fine and it is being built lovely well, that at least give us more storage space to play about with won't just have to rely on what we can put inside our little huts here I wonder if I can turn off them having everything yeah everything in here please guys and tent built first bit of knowledge so up to three yeah more like just go straight to the tools on that one make life a little bit easier for us is that another cave line it is let's get rid of that because i've got a feeling that's going to try and come and eat one of us in a minute i would rather not have to deal with one of our kids getting eaten while they're collecting sticks yes perfect that is some more food and some more skins i'm not even certain how many skins they give us let's have a look three one bit of food three skins and one bone someone has died due to infection oh that's just great do we we do not have funerary stuff yet i don't th uh, mm. I suppose I could get that next time. We're okay with the wood at the moment, the tools. Give us somewhere to bury our dead and keep our people sweet. It looks like they're all too busy to come and collect. No, we already got it. We've already collected the meat. Very nice. This all coming in lovely. Getting ourselves a nice little supply of everything. Even got ourselves a few vegetables there. That's grand. So yeah, it's starting off pretty well. Got things coming in. Got space for in increased population. Mm, workload is apparently very high. So I'm not going to give them anything else at the moment. That drops a bit. I'm sure once the meats have dried up. And we've hit our limit on st some sticks and things. That'll be it. Yeah, see, so dropping to 140 already. Hopefully, this skull pole will keep them happy for a bit. But we do need to think about more food. We have one wild donkeys. Oh, look, another moof. Oh, is that another mouflon? It is another mouflon. 
So let's see. We have a few hunters ready. Mouflon is there. Let's go get it. Lovely. And we will have that pig as well. Thank you, guys. If you can get it. Oh, come on. Really? It'll be fine. Did that actually escape? Did that escape us? Aha, it didn't, but we will slaughter that. Get us our extra food. And our extra furs that we need. Well, skins. So yeah, I think it's going well. 140% on the old work, 160% on the old workload. But we are up to six on the tech knowledge. So normally I'd go here, but maybe we should come here just so we can start building those uh, burial mounds for people. Just whack them off on the end here. We'll take two just to make sure, you know, we have enough for all the potential uh, tribes people that are going to die. But at 180 on the production there. So just have a, leave it there while it finishes off. All right, we're getting the extra knowledge here for skinning and fish. We've got actually quite a nice selection of food in at the moment. Plenty of sticks, stone, and uh, no... No flint. We haven't used that flint, or is that flint? That's flint, and we've not collected any stone. That That's the way round it is. Okay. But we do have the stone option there. Pretty sure I put a stone collector here. Yeah, there it is. They just haven't got round to it yet. That's fine. Well, that flint's all done. So let's edit that work area. And see if there's anywhere else nearby we can utilize that. So we've got a bit here. Probably not going to bother collecting that yet as we are up to the 10. But that should be fine for now. Well, until we can actually start doing that. A trader has arrived already. Bit soon, I think. Uh, don't need any of that. Got plenty. So he can go away. There should be an option just to reject him. So that he leaves rather than standing there. Getting in the way of my tribes people. Really want more people to join us. We could definitely do with it. I think the dude who died of that uh, infection, I believe he was uh, one of our hunters. Uh, see, this this is all done now. So we'll get rid of that work area. And we'll stick with this one. Still plenty of sticks in that area. So just leave that be for now. 100%, 80%. So workload is fluctuating. Between 80 and 100, but all still high-end workloads. Yeah, I, I don't know, I can't really... Maybe it's just because I haven't played in a while. But it all just looks the same to me. But it is looking good. I know this guy, he's idling. But he's off to do something now. So it just needs stone, that needs one raw fur, raw hide even, one bone, three stone. Uh, we've got everything but the stone. Pretty sure that is a stone pit as well. They're trying to say that's full up now. Let's turn this stuff off. And yeah, can we have someone come and collect this? Got some fish drying knowledge, very nice. Maybe the workload's just too high. Nearly there for the sticks. Nowhere near it for the stone. And new humans joined too. That's good. So we are up to eight. We've got space for one more person. Going to see about building another. You know, let's buy another dryer. Uh, build even. Another drying rack. Because I've got a feeling we're going to need it. Does look like I've built them a bit too close to that 
Let's just whack them. Yeah, we'll just build them behind there. We'll have three. And we'll recycle these. No big deal. 154, 38%. And we've got an extra bit of knowledge. Perfect. Let's get these tools all over to be done. Bone tools. So we have a few bones. So I'm going to take... Yeah, we'll start with bone spears. Bone spears are so much better for hunting and fighting than all the others. Uh, we just leave the wood and the stone on the other stuff. This should be fine. And we'll just carry on for a few more minutes for this episode. We'll put this guy as a priority, as obviously we want food and all this other stuff done as soon as possible. We have a newborn human. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's whack that one there, and we'll have an extra one at the end here for expansion. Hopefully, we can get those skins dried. That should be all good. We're at 57%. I am surprised nobody's coming over here to grab the stone net, though. Maybe you need to mine them ones. If that's the case, let's move over to these piles where they're collectible rather than mineable. Yeah, look, someone's getting him to do it now. So that was the reason. And then hopefully that means we can get this bur these burial mounds sorted out. But we are looking for, going to be needing more dry skins. Lovely. Oh, we built those rather quickly, didn't we? We need more skins, basically. Where is worth having? Something that's not going to survive too long if attacked. Otherwise, my men will be running all over the bloody place. Ooh, what's this? I'll take that. You attack it, it's more likely going to attack you back. So that should hopefully. Survival knowledge, nice. Here we go. Cave lion, probably, yeah. Done. That was quick. So take these guys. Don't really fancy starting on those yet. Those three big ones will definitely take someone out. Ah, oh, Mouflon. Perfect. And we've got a point. Oh, because that was a cave hyena. That works for me. Got a storm coming in as well. Hopefully we won't get hit by lightning. But you never know in this game. That should increase a few bits and bobs, bone, meat, and some dry skins for us. We exhausted the stone already. Wow, that was quick. And the area has dis... Okay, and it's the working area has gone. That's good. So do you need to find another stone area? We are down to two. So we're clearly using it. Let's just... No, can't be taking any of that. Have to mine it out stuff. There is a little bit there and there. We'll take that. That'll do. Our workload is good. Science knowledge is going up. Question is, what's the next thing to do? Should we get some dogs? Or should we go for the next set of clothing? Well, 24 minutes long. I think this is an alright time to stop. Just got ourselves our burial mound knowledge. So we're nearly up for the next tech. But yeah, if you guys are liking this one, please let us know. You can always go back to the old one. I have it saved just there. So I will put this as YouTube 2. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.